the old has gone. 2 Corinthians 5 verses 17 and 18. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All the things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. As we look at these two verses where the Apostle Paul tells us that we in Christ have become a new creation, we must also understand that he states very clearly that all things have passed away and all things have become new. Now, of course, he is referring to things in our spiritual life. In the natural, we still live in that same body that we had. We still have the same mind that we had, but in the spirit, in the in our spirit, uh, in our spiritual life, all the things have passed away. Now, uh, I want us to grasp this thing: that everything of the old has been brought to an end, as far as our spiritual life has is concerned. Everything of the old has been brought to an end. And in our spiritual life, we have become a new creation. All things have become new and all things are of God. That means everything you are and everything you have in the spirit, in your spirit man right now, it's new and it's of God. Everything of the old has been broken, has been disconnected, has been done away with. So. You know, we must stop talking about the old things. For example, if you say, I'm an old sinner saved by grace, it's incorrect. You're no longer an old sinner. You are a new creation. It is true you're saved by grace. That is true. But the old part, that is no longer true. Old things have passed away. So don't identify with those old things. They are no longer real to you in your spirit. You're a saint. You are a person right now saved by grace. So don't, don't talk about those old things. Now, if you say, you know, I was always addicted to something or I always, you know, uh, did things like this. And when you're talking about old things, you know, don't go back to that. All the things have passed away. Begin to recognize that you are a new person and all that you are today in the spirit is what comes from God alone. He says here, all things are of God. That means anything that's not of God no longer exists in your spirit. So recognize that. Come up to speed in your understanding of who you are in the spirit and reject the old things. Don't identify with those old things. They're no longer there. As long as you begin, as long as you keep identifying with those old things, your mind and your body is going to go back and live that way. But no, affirm to the new things that you have in your spirit. You're a new person. Old things have gone. All things have become new. All things are of God. Affirm that. Old things have passed away. They no longer have a place over me. They no longer have any control over me. They are no longer in me. All things are of God. Let's pray. Lord, we ask you, that you'll help us understand that all things have passed away and help us to in, in, in walk in the reality of it and not confine ourselves to all things, even in our thinking or in our speaking. Help us to understand this new person you've made us to be in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.